In downtown Seoul, South Koreans appear to be oblivious to the nuclear threat from the north. Many have been through these kinds of tensions time and time again. I don't find it any more alarming, but certainly uh, with the internet and social media, uh, you know, back in 94, there was, a, I'd say, a similar situation, but social media is definitely amplified at this time. Eric Thorpe moved here from the U.S. 17 years ago. He says what's causing more anxiety this time is the larger flow of information. Heightened tensions has become somewhat of a ritual. War games between the U.S. and South Korea are held every year and elicit a strong reaction from North Korea. But this time, there's a new element, and that's the Trump government, which is seen as drawing a firmer line against North Korea than previous administrations. The U.S. and South Korea are bound by their history. At this war museum, South Korean children learn about how the U.S. helped build the country's foundations. There is no question in the U.S. military's importance in South Korea's security, but the U.S. also plays a role in society. About 20 percent of foreign investment is from the U.S., and there are around 230,000 Americans living here. And experts say this is part of the reason behind the U.S.'s reluctance to resort to a military option when it comes to dealing with North Korea. So for American Todd Sample, the current U.S. military maneuvers are mystifying. An entrepreneur who speaks Korean fluently, he says U.S. President Donald Trump's stance is bad policy. Any damage that is not really necessary is something that would be a tremendous setback to the Korean government and, and everybody doing business here. So we're really hoping that this does not escalate to a point that it gets out of control. In Itaewon, a restaurant and bar area popular with expats and U.S. servicemen, there's a constant reminder that South Korea relies on its biggest ally in the face of any kind of threat from its northern neighbor. Here, American Garrett Edwards has built up a restaurant empire. Just doesn't, doesn't affect me. I mean, until they drop a bomb on, on Seoul. But for 21 years that I've been here, they've been saying that. Echoing the sentiment of most people here, despite North Korea's unpredictability and numerous threats, Many feel they have no option but to carry on with business as usual. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Seoul.